28th. Uh, three days left of season, and Cat's up to bat. This is her last hunt of the year. She told me she's not going out the next two nights, so <laughs> we got to get it done tonight. We don't have child care. We've been kind of thinking about it uh, since last night. We didn't have a very good hunt up in the back where I saw Tex, and also last night I saw Big Mac again on this hill. And so I wanted to, we kind of talked about it with, with, the, with the muzzleloader in hand, and we've had a number of five-year-old plus bucks coming out over here. A couple of them are, as Bill would say, old crusty bucks. But, uh, you know, those, those are good to shoot just like the other ones. So Cat's ready to wrap her tag around one of those if one of the better ones doesn't come out. Um, the 6x5 was down on this plot last night. Uh, well after dark, but he could be close by. And like I said, Big Mac came out right here last night. And we have that deer, Patient X, we call him. He's got a big, giant sinus tumor, it looks like. He's shed an antler already, and he doesn't look super healthy. Uh, he's come out right here a few times, but he looks like a five-year-old. Or at least a four-year-old. Anyway, we've got a couple targets out here. We're going to hopefully have a good hunt. We have about two and a half hours left to go. We got a north wind tonight, straight north, and it's uh, upper 20s, and the pressure's pretty high. So uh, we've got one young buck that came out and is down in the corn. We got here and basically the, this blind, which we hunted a few days ago, was set up for a south wind. So we got in here with the Kubota hooked onto it and then drug it up on this hill for a north wind. And we got about 200 yards down to the fence in the food plot and 200 yards to this fence where all the deer were jumping a couple nights ago. I think we're set up pretty well with the muzzle order and hopefully we can get something to happen tonight.
going, he's almost toast to the turnips. another close call tonight uh, pretty cool to see Tex again unfortunately he didn't come into the the corn plot he, he walked out along the creek and then he crossed the creek following those does and went over to the turnip plot and that's about 340 yards or so um, we had a bunch of deer we had a another smaller mature eight pointer that we filmed a few times come out into the corn but I was hoping that he would follow those does and they'd feed out into the the cut cornfield and we'd able maybe get out of the blind and sneak down the road and get a shot at him where he wasn't the turnips I was afraid if we blew the corn out you know they would run I needed him to get farther away to allow us to try to do that but that was a that was a low percentage plan so we sat in the blind and and uh, I kept my fingers crossed that Big Mac would pop out onto the hill like he did last night but he never did so we ran out of time uh, another fun sit we got two nights left I think Cat's going to be done for the year, and I'll probably make a couple more bow hunts and see if we can't get one of these deer down. <laughs>